Thank you, Rama. That was probably more information than you needed. But um, yes, I did fly in this morning, and it's fantastic to be here. I've always wanted to come to Sydney, and it took Remo and TEDx to get me here. So thank you, Remo. We launched this little experiment at TED just over a year ago called TEDx. X equals independently organized events. And it gives anybody anywhere in the world the opportunity to host a TED-like event. Now, the idea for TEDx came from a number of different places. Up until about four years ago, TED was a small, exclusive conference that very few people had been to. Remo had been. He'd been coming for 20 years. Um, but very few people had been to the TED conference. And four years ago, we put the TED Talks online for free. And over 250 million people have seen TED Talk to date. And this has really transformed the TED brand. And as a result of that, more and more people were coming up to us requesting if we could host an official TED conference in their city or country. And the TED team's a tiny team, and this idea was very hard to scale. And finally, we at TED really do believe that sometimes it's better to view TED Talks in a group situation where you can have a conversation around them rather than in a solitary way in front of your computer. So it was really the convergence of these ideas out of which the TEDx concept emerged. And so, as I said, TEDx um, launched about a year ago, just over a year ago. And so I just wanted to paint a brief picture of what's transpired over the last year. We've had about 500 TEDx events worldwide. We have over 500 more planned for this year. About 100 of those have been on university campuses, and there are about another 100 plus planned on university campuses for this year. And we've had about 40 TEDx events that, have, that will be oriented towards kids between now and the end of this year. And these events have differed greatly in size, shape, and format. We've had everything from a small little TEDx event that happened in one of the largest shanty towns in the world, TEDx Kibera, where the organizer put a sheet on the wall and projected some TED talks and invited some speakers in from the local com community to a series of very ambitious events like TEDx Sydney Today, which would almost be a day at TED, to an event that I actually just came from two days ago that happened under the Great Wall of China and in this ancient setting under the stars, and it was truly remarkable, to an event that's happening later this year on November 20th. We just launched and we just announced it at TEDx Tokyo. We're going to have a TEDx Youth Day where a whole series of TEDx events will happen over the span of 24 hours that are geared for and towards um, children and youth. And so people come and they come to TEDx and they ha hear these amazing speakers and they have remarkable conversations and they often say to me, and now what? And what I'd love to encourage you all to do is to go back into your communities, into underprivileged neighborhoods, into schools, and host your own little TEDx events. They don't have to be as ambitious as this. They don't have to have live speakers. You can just show some TED talks, inspire some people, have a conversation around them, and help us spread ideas. And so in closing, it has been an amazing journey the last few uh, months. And you know, we at TED are all inspired by it, and we're not sure where it's going. But we believe it'll be transformative, and it'll be thanks to you, the TEDx Sydney community, and other communities around the world that'll help make it so. And so in closing, I just wanted to say I've known Remo for 20 years. He's been coming to TED for 20 years. And I was really excited when he said he'd sign on to do this TEDx Sydney. And I just found out from the forum that there's going to be another one next year. So next year, I promise to come back for more than 24 hours. Thank you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.